So here's the fun part is we had a Windows update on Tuesday and I went to my audacity and my traction to record some music. I was playing some tonage and the fucking drivers were all gone and oh fuck. <laughs> you know, the thing is, like with a with a tool like Traction, which is basically like Pro Tools, same kind of thing, you, you forget, right? You set it up, you know, a year and a half ago. It's like, okay, done. And you go and you play your songs and you do whatever you want to do or do your videos and, and you don't even think about it. Then a year and a half goes by and uh, boom, Windows decides to kill it. So I got it back, but it's a pain in the arse. So my buddy, Bass FZZ Zerse, did a video. And uh, the video is called Female Dating Strategies is a gold mine. Okay, so here's my young friend who, um, hmm, still, you know, trying to, trying to find that woman and, and all that stuff. That's great. And, and he's going to be a good catch. When she finally realizes just how good this guy is, she's going to go, hmm, yeah, yeah, he's a good guy. Yeah, I think I want some of that. Good looking guy, right? The problem with women is they have too much choice. Coming out of their, their mother's canal, they have all the gold in the world. They've got it stacked up. They're given it just because they are women. And there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, you know, for millennia, for, you know, thousands and hundreds of thousands of years, women were treated differently than men because women are precious with respect to having children. Men, we, we, we can't have kids, right? I mean, we can make children with women, but we got we to gotta have women, right? And so that's why women are treated differently because they can produce babies, and when we were just, uh, you know, barely um, sentient cave monkeys, you know, we, we figured this out. It's like, hmm, one woman here in the cave. Well, that means we can have one baby a year. Well, we've got three dudes and seven women. Hmm. Yeah, we could have seven babies <laughs> per year. So we got to protect the whammons, right? You only need one dude in a village to keep reproducing. That's really it. I mean, yeah, eventually you get genetically weird and, and all that other stuff, but a couple of dudes or three or five and a hundred women, not a problem. We can do that. We can uh, service the need to make babies. So that's why women are special, and that's why women have a lot of choice. They choose who to breed with. I mean, it's just that simple. It's not a big conspiracy. It's not a, I hate men. You evil men's. The issue is hypergamy. They want to find the best man to breed with. And, and that's fine. I mean, that's, that's why we're here, <laughs> right? You know, they, they found the biggest, strongest, and, uh, you know, uh, most intelligent men to have babies with. And thus, we are here, no longer living in caves being barely uh, smart monkeys, right? The problem with all of this is today things are a little different. We don't have sex necessarily anymore to just have children. There's chemical intervention, there's birth control, there's abortion, there's all kinds of other things. So we can just have sex for fun, where, you know, 500 years ago, maybe that wasn't the case. And of course, you know, 500 years ago, they had nasty shit that would kill you like syphilis and, and, and gonorrhea and herpes and all these other things that no one knew what it was. It was just like, uh, I think he's not acting right. I, I wonder, hmm, yeah, we're just going to put him in, a, in, a, in, a, in an asylum, that kind of thing. So most of that is not even a concern anymore. And so what you have is you have women who want to have sex. You're right. Yeah, men do as well. The problem is they don't look at the vast majority of men as a potential partner. Remember, we're still thinking with our, our lizard brains, right? Reproduce, have babies, do it before you're 30 because you're going to die when you're 32. That's the evolutionary programming. That's it. Uh, not that many decades ago, lifespan was, you know, 40 years old. That was it. So we're designed to have them early and have them often to reproduce. 
The problem is women do not have to do that today. Our lifespans are, you know, 70 years, 72, whatever the case may be. So women have more options, at least it seems they do, to go out and have fun, right? And I guess that's fine. But here, the bottom line is women project this onto men in general. Well, men, they're out there doing all of these things and they're having all this sex. Why can't I? Uh, the problem is most men are not doing that or we can't do that. We certainly try. Oh God, have I tried over the years. But the point is we do not have the buffet just waiting for us. Oh, you want that vagina? Sure, take it. And you want the other one uh, for breakfast? No problem. There you go. Women have that option. <laughs> they can do that. And they do. And the problem in the end comes when they are 32, 33. I better start having some babies because I want some babies. And the men that they truly desire, the men that actually are out there getting all of this ass, they don't want them when they're 32. Except for a bang. But now the women are ready. They're ready to settle down. And the guys that they really, really want that gets them all tingly and juicy and, and moist, they're banging 22-year-olds because they can. And then women get mad. Why is Chad not? Why doesn't he want to get mad? I'm ready. I'm ready for it now. Um, uh, hmm, no, no. If he's going to get married to anybody, it's going to be someone with a lot less experience. <laughs> because uh, sexual experience is valuable to women. But women who have had a lot of sexual experience is not valued by men. I mean, it's so simple. We make these videos and we say, look, ladies, this, you know, hey, you know, be careful. This might have, uh, fuck you. You hate women. You're a misogynist. You're a Trump supporter. You're Hitler. It's like, um, okay. You know, I told you, right? I, I, I told you what was going to happen. And then when it does, men are, of course, to blame. Why don't you want me? It's not fair. I want you. You should want me. It doesn't freaking work that way. We've said it a million times. We've laid out what is going to happen to women as they get a little older, when they get ready to settle down. The men you want are not going to be there because the men you want are desired by all women. They have the buffet. They just pick from the uh, salad plate here, got the dessert, got the roast beef over here. They have that choice. Most men do not. Most women do. The problem is they overdo it. And then when they get to the end of the buffet and there's nothing left, it's my fault somehow. Crazy, crazy shit. James Maxwell, thank you for listening.